So we're going to start creating our first project, and we're going to start applying some of the scripting uh, practice that we've been doing. So let's uh, start with a um, pretty, uh, empty game object, 3D object plane. Let's uh, name it ground. You should be getting familiar with all this. Always renaming your um, objects when you create them. Let's make it three by three by three. And this is a new scene I created, so file, new scene. Make sure you save your old one. We don't have to create a new project. We can use the project we're working on. And I'm going to go to my materials. Um, if you're creating a new project, you may have to create a new material. So you would right click, create uh, material right there. And once you get it, click on it and then go choose the color you want. So you would click in here and then click here. And I sort of like that color. I'm going to drag it on to my plane. Okay, so um, I think I'm actually going to make that four. And the Y does not can stay at one because uh, that's, that's how high up it is. Then we're, not, we're going to be staying on the ground. So the next thing we want to do is we want to create some uh, walls. So we're going to create a 3D object cube. Let's move it to the side. And I think it would be in the Z. Let's make it three. No. Keep that at one. How about the right X? OK, so we're going to scale this to fit um, our thing there. So let's try like maybe 12. No. About 26. That's still not big enough. So let's try 36. Still not big enough. 40. Let's take a look at it. Mm, maybe a little bit too big, huh? Maybe 36 is it. So we want to create a little wall there. Move it over a little bit. Looks about right. So as we fool around with it, the first thing we're going to do is we're going to name it wall. And because we sort of like the way it is right now, we're going to duplicate it. And just drag it over to the other side. Not quite there yet. About like that. And then let's just duplicate that one. Let's drag it out. And I think it probably better, is it a 90 degree? Yeah. 90 degree angle. So we can see we're going to be a little bit short. So let's make this 40. 40 looks good. And then let's just duplicate that one. And get a little bit closer. Move it in, right about there. Let's make our two walls 40 also, and move them down. 
And then this one we need to make 42, right? I'm hitting Alt and just moving my, uh, moving around the screen. Alt and then rolling my screen there. Okay, so, um, and then let's put maybe uh, purple look okay. Yeah. Okay, good start. So let's save it as, um, let's call it game ground. So we saved our scene. The next thing we want to do, the last thing we want to do is we want to, we don't have a bunch of stuff sitting here. So I'm going to right click. I'm going to create empty. I'm going to name it walls. And then I'm going to shift click, shift click. So I have shift, holding down the shift, clicking on everything. I'm going to let go of the shift and I'm going to drag it into walls. Look, now that's clean, clean. So now everything's under walls. We'll have like a million walls coming across here. So give that a try. There is no right or wrong for colors. Um, you probably no right or wrong for size either. You make it as bigger uh, um, as you want to. At least three, though. And are we locked up here? Uh, maybe I need to move that. No, that looks okay. Looks all right. So remember, save a scene and. Uh, Let's get started out there. You, if you create a new project, that's okay. You won't have all these scenes either. So you'll be able to uh, um, just have scenes for your uh, existing project. Anyway, give that a try. Let me know if you have any questions.